Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Garage Bouillon and to the first real episode of my 94 Safari in about six months. As you can see she's a little bit more complete than she was when I showed you the last time. I've got a bonnet that's installed. It's not perfectly aligned yet but it's good enough. I have one of the bumpers shoved onto the mounts here just to keep it safe because I don't want it to fall or get scratched. And if we look inside the car I have two more bumpers another front bumper and a rear bumper i have the guttering right there i have the headlamp covers there i've got the mirrors right there and another headlamp cover and on the floor over here i have yet another bumper so i've got four bumpers for this car two of them have been modified to a safari spec that i wanted the two that are 100 stock will be going into storage so that one day when someone or me wants to put this car back to its stock form there will be bumpers that match 100 percent with the color of the body what i also have is a box and another box full of parts this is mostly trims and rubbers because obviously this car is too good to have any bad quality rubbers put back onto it. So this will get all, all kinds of new rubbers. And over here on the floor is a box that was given to me by the painters. And everything in here is what they took out of the car. And uh, I need to figure out where it came from and where it needs to go back. So that's going to be a challenge as I did not do this work. So if you've been following this series, you'll know that this car is mechanically 100% sound. Um, I've rebuilt everything that needs to be rebuilt. Everything is in good nick. So mechanically, there's not much that needs to happen on this car. Most of the work here is building it up again, making it a complete car. And there's an insane amount of stuff that needs to happen. All of the glass has to come back in. All the lights have to come in from the bumpers to the headlights to the side stuff to the stuff on the back. Uh, the doors need to be built. The inside is completely bare other than a dashboard and a steering wheel. Coming up with a game plan for how to assemble this car has been on my mind for a couple of days. Uh, because space in my garage is at an all-time low, I have all these seats in here. I've got dashboards and everything running down the sides. You can see the door cards for the 968. Every spot of my garage has parts stuffed into it. You can see there's carpets, door cards, rear quarter panels, trim stuff. Um, down there I've got parts. Up here I've got parts. Every spot in my garage is currently filled with car parts, exploded from both of these. So to bring some structure to this episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on the rear. So what that means is install the bumper, install the lights, install the hatch then at least we know this piece is complete so let's try and attempt to get that done in this video so sit back relax and let's start assembly Right, so now I've got the bumper installed. I'm happy with the alignment. It sits nicely on this side. And if we go over to this side, you'll see it sits nicely here as well. And off camera, I've already installed the lock mechanism. I still know you need to do these bits. But before I can do this, I am just waiting for these little metal brackets to 
dry. I've painted them up. They were a bit rusty, so now they are going to be protected when I put them back into the car. And while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to start installing the new rear lights. And what you are seeing here is a rubber gasket. This is not the way the factory did it, but this is a part I bought from only 944. I'll put the link in the description for you guys. Basically what this does is this replaces the sticky tacky window seal kind of stuff that you have to put around here in a ribbon format and it's always messy it's always leaking after a while so i'm trying out this new solution well it's not new it's new to me at least i've had this on the market for a while it's basically a rubber bead that you install on the new lights or even your old ones after you've cleaned them and then you can easily put them in and remove them if you need to not that i'll ever need to remove them but i thought I'll try this. So let's get that done so that we can get these two rear lights installed. So that's sitting nice and flush and again remember don't over tighten this because it's all plastic and it can break and now we can pull off the protective plastic to hopefully reveal a beautiful oh just look at that perfect let's do the other side 20 minutes later Now that we have these rear lights installed, I think the next thing for me to do is reinstall my license plate holder. And since this is brand new paint, I'm going to protect these little holes with these little nylon washers on the back of this plate. Like that. And then we're going to push it through and tighten it up. And two more nylon washers on the back as well. Two metal washers. And lastly, a self-locking nut. Um, I'm not going to put in the number plate yet because I'm actually going to have new plates made up because the ones that came with the car were quite shabby. So I'll get those in later. But for now, at least we have this holder in its spot. And that's what I wanted to achieve. So we can move on to the next thing. And that is that these little guys have now dried up from the epoxy primer. So this should not rust any further or any more. And I'm going to drop them into this hole once I've got that done. I can bring these lock mechanisms into it and you can see I've also installed new rubbers into these guys so they are all nice and fresh and rebuilt. In theory we are ready to bring the hatch in but I have discovered a bit of a challenge and that is that the guys missed a spot and they'll be coming to 
fix this in the next couple of days. So we are not going to install a hatch yet because obviously that's where the rubber needs to go. So the hatch is going to wait, but we can at least do this bit and then we'll move on to the door. All right, so this little plate goes in with this to the back. So it just slides into the hole here. It should fit quite easily like that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of silicon grease onto the nipple of the latch mechanism. This has survived 40 years already, so let's make sure it survives the next 40. There we go. And then it's down here. It's going to be difficult for you guys to see. But I can just pop that in and then I put the securing tab over the top like that. And then the last thing we need to do is just install the little drip tray like that. And then I'm putting in a little spring washer and a nut. There we go. I'm not going to tighten this yet because we want this to be able to move once we bring the hatch into the pin. Also, don't forget to connect your pipe from this little drain into the bottom of the car. I'll show this to you later because I have to order some new piping. The ones I had, which are these ones, are completely brittle and aged out. So I'll get new ones for this. But this is done. So let's get the other side done quickly. All right, now that I have the latch mechanism and the license plate in, that's about as far as I can go for now. I still need to put the two license plate lights in, but I bought a new set and they were see-through, so I'm just painting them up so that they are black. Uh, otherwise, you'll see the light coming into the car. But what I wanted to show you is that I've already started cleaning on the inside of the car. This is by no means complete or pristine, but at least I've started. And you can see I've also installed some hardware into the doors already. And I have installed the door lock mechanism. I'm not showing you this because I showed it to you on that car and it's exactly the same. So um, the next thing I wanted to do before I can build up the door is address this B pillar here. This should be black. And from factory, this is painted a satin black. But I am going to try something else on this car. And that is, I'm going to wrap it matte black. Because I think maybe that'll just give a nicer finish. So I'm going to try that. This was all of, I think, 17 bucks for this roll. So it's worth a shot. And if it doesn't work out well, I'll ask my painters to just paint this piece black for me shouldn't be an issue but let's try and get this thing wrapped and once that's wrapped then I can bring in the new trim pieces that I've got for this door So I'd be lying if I said this was my first attempt. This is my third attempt at doing this. Luckily, I've got enough of that roll. I've got a meter, so uh, I've got a few chances to try. And I think with a heat gun, very, very quickly on the heat gun, you tend to create just enough stretch in this for it to uh, settle nicely. You can see I've got no bubbles. It's nicely wrapped and I pushed it around this edge and I also pushed it all the way around this edge. So hopefully when I put the rubber in, that rubber will protect this wrap and this wrap will never peel. But um, it will remain an experiment. Um, I might have to paint this one day, but I wanted to try this and see if it works. And I think it looks quite sharp. So the next step for us is to start putting in the trim and the rubbers. There 
there you go. So the trim is now installed all the way around with my little rat B pillar and then coming across again down here, which means the next step for us to do is to install the rubbers. And the rubbers are going to be a bit of an experiment because the 924 uh, window rubbers that sits here are no longer available, but the ones for the S2944 is. Um, I can't see any difference between these doors on the top, so I think it'll fit. So I'm going to try that. Hopefully I didn't make a big mistake when I bought them, but I'll just try and get them in and see where we end up. we've got the rubber in for I think 95% you can see it runs nicely inside the door and then down here it seems to be too long so before I start cutting things I'm gonna do some research but we are making some good progress on this door I've got the handles I've got all the things I need so I'm gonna keep on working on this door trying to build it up um, and the reason why I'm working on the door and not on anything else is because I need a headliner and I don't have one yet. I've managed to source a new old stock headliner which should be here in a couple of days. Once that headliner is here, I can get that all glued in. And I also need to get my painter to just fix the spots where they didn't paint the body. Um, once that is fixed and I have some sound deadening stuck onto this roof, we can get the headliner in. Once the headliner is in, we can go and get these quarter panels installed. Once those quarter panels and the headliner is in, then we can install this little quarter window because all of this stuff has to fold over the the edges here but for now this is where i'm going to stop this video it's late on a sunday evening next thing for me to do is to get the rubber that runs here in we'll get the glass in i've got new glass over there because i want the car to have green tinted glass instead of the white glass that it came with so this will be green tinted this will be green tinted and the windscreen will also be green tinted but anyway i'm rambling on so um thank you for watching if you like these kinds of things please consider subscribing and i'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>